I miss you so much. How's your How's your life? How have you been? Me too. Uh, I, I actually uh, uh, I did a lot uh, in the uh, tent uh, last weeks. Uh huh. Uh, I read a lot and I uh, took some exams. What kind of Isles, what, and, what, uh, what kind of exams? Let's uh, let, let's talk. Let's the talk. Monkey exams for the Isles. Okay, perfect. I took, uh, two listening and uh, uh, there was a, a mock exam about speaking and uh, I took that's perfect so let's let's talk about these activities after uh, we just do a little bit of introduction um, about what have you been doing yes. over the past few months uh, starting from the the beginning of COVID-19 so um, mm. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes. So after the cure view, I was stuck in the house. Yeah. So I have to do a lot of the uh, the core uh, the chores with my uh, with my uh, wife. Mm hmm. By the way, how is she? I. She's uh, really fine. <laughs> <laughs> well, say hi to her. Um, I miss she's, you guys. Yes, she say it. Okay, so I miss you so much, and I look forward to see you pretty soon, inshallah. Probably uh, inshallah, next inshallah. next week. Um, if things, I mean, inshallah. if you if you if you look at the number of the cases, they are escalating. They are going up. The number of uh, that's the problem. That's the problem. <laughs> and this is really worrying, you know. So yeah, yeah, uh, you know, uh, a lot of my friends now uh, had uh, COVID nineteen. Oh my god! Uh, one of them is is a uh, uh, really germophobic. Okay. Uh, she always wear double double uh, mask and double gloves, and now she had it, and she also uh, under shock. Um, is she has she recovered from the uh, the virus or not? No, 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 no. She uh, uh, she uh, she had the test. She took the uh, the test uh, about uh, three days ago, and uh, uh, yesterday they got the results. They told them that uh, they were positive. Mm -hmm. uh, she and her husband. That's the problem, and they have a little. They had a little baby. Oh my God! So did 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 she tell you anything about the symptoms of the? Uh, um, of the virus um, that they are she got, got uh, she got uh, vomiting and uh, diarrhea uh -huh. and uh, also a slight increase in, uh, in temperature okay uh, not a, a, a big symptoms but uh, they yeah, after these mild symptoms they make a swab and the results uh, so, um dr mustafa can you just tell me a little bit about why doctors get most of the um, infections right now? I know the answer like superficially, Satyan, because we talk about doctors yes. being always in the hospitals and they're just checking constantly so many patients. But from your own point of view, since you're a doctor and you're more specialized in this field of, yes. uh, of work than me, can you tell me a little bit, and this is probably going to be uh, our chat for tonight because I, uh, I'm i not yes. going to focus that much 100% on IELTS. Let's do a little yes. bit of yes. um, chats in general about you, you've been doing yes. over the past uh, six, well, last time we had a discussion was on March 10th, and since then, the kind of like, uh, we got disconnected because of COVID and... Um, we didn't get um, a chance to see each other that much. So, yes. uh, generally speaking, from your own point of view, from your own reading and analysis of medical reports and yes. cases and patients, why do you think that doctors get most of the cases here? Uh, first of all, you can say that they are actually in direct contact with the patients. Uh -huh. So this is the most probable cause. Uh, but sometimes uh, uh, you can say that ignorance ignorance is another problem. Uh, when you are in a, in a routine, you see patients every day, every day, and you have to go to the hospital, 
and uh, wear your uh, PP personal protective gear PP PPG. Uh, I think sometimes you get you you, you became bored. Uh huh. Yes, and I think uh, they uh, sometimes sometimes they they become reluctant and. Uh, uh, you, you can imagine when you are under stress, you have to work every day with with the cases. Uh, and also another problem is that uh, that is uh, uh, the paperwork. I think this is the real problem. Can you tell me a little bit more about it? Working. Can you tell me a little bit more about the paperwork? Uh, the paperwork. Uh, uh, when we compared the uh, the administration um, uh, people, uh, we, we we had a lot of new cases through the administration uh, workers. Okay. So they they analyze that the problem is the sometimes through the papers. Mm -hmm. You know, you, you, there's a lot of papers. Uh, and uh, we have inward and outward uh, a lot of papers for the uh, infections and for the uh, uh, when you you need uh, you need uh, when you need uh, a, a, a supply for the supplements for uh, materials you have I to still, make an I application still... to fill it and send it to the administration. This is a lot of work uh, to bring a lot of papers. Mm -hmm. when, when there's a, a patient, a, a, a person who's infected, he will touch the paper and will give it another one. So sometimes in your desk, you have to you have to clean everything and disinfect every, everything. But when you have a, a bunch of a lot of papers like a, a pile, how you can disinfect all of them? So That's this true. is also a problem. That's true. That's true. And it, through yes. this kind of through this kind of channel, um, probably the virus has been transmitted among a huge number of people because, like every day, you wake up in the morning and you hope that the number uh, of cases drop down, or uh, or the yes. curve or the curve of the virus is flattened, but then all of a sudden you see double the amount of cases a day after day which is really discomforting. So, uh, according to you, your experience... Now we are, now, you know, you know, you, we, now we are the sixth of the new cases in the world. That's true, that's true. So, can yes. you, can you give me, a, uh, can you give me an explanation of the three major reasons that uh, helped this virus to spread uh, um, in, in the country in this way? Uh, through breath and uh, contaminated uh, subjects mm -hmm. and objects, and uh, uh, this is the, the two main problems: uh, the breath when you sneeze, mm -hmm. the uh, viral uh, microbes will spread in the air, and it can stay for about. Uh, one hour, sometimes in two to three hours. Okay. That's the lifespan of the uh, of the of the micro. Okay, so that's that's the um, the means of uh, of transmitting the the virus. Let's talk about the protective yes, measures yes. here, because you said that a lot of your doctor friends, uh, doctors or your friends. Um, are very germophobic since they've studied the viruses and they know the the risk of this type of yeah. uh, deadly viruses. Yes. So, would you please walk me through your personal um, measurements? What are you doing every day when it comes to protecting yourself, protecting your wife, protecting your family from uh, God forbid getting this virus? Uh, but give me yes, give me uh, a detailed answer. Uh, I want you to walk me through a fully detailed report of the kind of a, uh, the kind of things that you do uh, on a daily basis when it comes to protecting yourself. Because the viewers yes. here, the audience, might be very interested in uh, getting to know uh, uh, the protective measures from the point of view of a doctor.
Hey, uh, first of all, you must have uh, uh, alcohol and uh, uh, sanitizer and uh, hygiene with you all the time. If you if you ha had a car, you must put one on your on your car. Mm -hmm. If you are uh, a person who uh, work in, in shop or uh, or outside, you must put it in your pocket. Uh, so after uh, after I woke up. I I dress up and then uh, I went to my work. Uh, when I uh, uh, before I uh, I uh, I get out of my house, I dress. Uh, I wear a new dress, so I knew that this is a new one. Mm -hmm. When uh, after that, I I went to uh, to my car. Uh, I have all my stuff with me. I wear gloves and mask all the time. In, in the car, when you are driving, you can't uh, release the mask. But when you, wh whatever you do, you must wear a mask uh, when you wear out. Okay. And uh, in uh, in work, in work, I wear a uh, personal protective gear uh, full. Uh, for a uh, uh, face shield also, uh, double mask and uh, 3M uh, mask, uh, 3M mask and uh, a, 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 a normal mask, uh, the second one. Mm -hmm. uh, also, I, I wear a, a, a head protection. My hair protected is also a gown. Uh, I wear a gown and also I wear a, a, a new shoes. This is important in work. Okay. Yeah, my work shoes. Mm -hmm. And do during the work, mm -hmm. uh, between patients, you must uh, replace. Uh, you must replace your uh, uh, your gloves and the second mask. Okay. Now we deal. We actually uh, deal with a little number of patients because of the of the COVID. We mm -hmm. reduce the number of the patients, so. Uh, to, to make control of the uh, of the outside uh, patient uh, waiting room. Mm -hmm. Now a lot of people After here. I complete. I, uh, I, yeah, go ahead. I just dispose all these uh, uh, and this, because they are actually they are all uh, disposable. I mm -hmm. dispose uh, all of them, uh, and I clean myself. And also uh, uh, clean my clothes, which is in the closet. I, I clean them also and wear them. And when I uh, reach my uh, my house, uh, actually I had uh, when uh, after the entrance, I made a, a slight area for uh, uh, dressing out of my clothes. Okay, so that's the. Personal protection yes. um, of a typical yes. doctor working in a uh, clinic in Baghdad. And yes. uh, this is his daily routine, his activities that he does every day in order to protect himself and protect his family from getting uh, this vicious disease, this vicious virus. Yes. So... There are a lot of rumors actually here in Iraq regarding this virus because of the high level of ignorance, medical ignorance among yes, uh, a group of a lay people. And one of the uh, one of the rumors is that the higher temperature can kill the virus. What is your comment um, on that? You have two to three minutes to comment on that in details. <laughs> Uh, to talk about this, actually, this is an absolute false statement uh, because uh, this virus uh, can, uh, they made an actual simulation to, to check if the virus can be die at a higher temperature. They found mm. that it's actually above 60, sometimes it will reach 65. And this is difficult in our uh, to reach 65 in our climate. If, if, even with the hottest days, we cannot reach that uh, point of, uh, of temperature. So this also uh, this uh, this is considered as a rumor. There is there is nothing that can uh, you can said that, that the the higher temperature can kill the virus. 
This is uh, a false statement. Statements. Okay, so what, what on, is on the on the other hand? Just give me give me one chance here to uh, to Sorry. to add a um, a comment here. What is your what is your um, advice? What is your recommendation uh, to this group of people who are saying that? We don't care. We we no longer wear masks. We have the community immunity, um, and uh, everybody will get the virus sooner or later. And it depends um, on your body and the immunity of your body to protect yourself. And probably some of them just do um, religious rituals. That yani rituals. Uh, yani fed. Yes. Yes. Know. You know what I mean. Uh, to say, well, we are protected yes, yes. here. We are protected here in this country because uh, we belong to this person or to that person, or just because we are sacred. Our country is full of um, immunity, so we are not going to get this virus. What is your comment to this group of people? I think my comment will be will upset some people. Uh, we 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 cannot rely on uh, on religion. Our, actually, our religion say we have to make uh, to, to be a scientific. Mm -hmm. So you must be a scientific in everything. Everything in, in our uh, everything in our life is depend on science. So when you when you say it will depend on my uh, my immunity or something like like these comments, I think these are. Uh, uh, these comments are uh, uh, from uh, from uh, uneducated uh, per, uh, personnel. Okay, so uh, <clears throat> the next we, we we saw the whole world how it's uh, how how they manage the situation. They started from the lockdown, then start uh, they, they, then they uh, gradually open some shops, and then. They went after when they can take control of the situation. They opened with restriction. There were a mundane uh, restriction. You must wear a mask. Mm -hmm. You must think about your lovers. You had uh, everyone had an older age pers a person in, in, in his family. Let's uh, think about let's them. let's uh, let's let me stop you here. You must think about your beloved yes. ones. You must yes. think about your beloved yes. beloved ones. If you have yes. love, if you have lovers, that means you have a relation with more than one person. Yes, <laughs> which is which is good to some people, but not you. <laughs> yes. I'm just joking. Uh, yeah, this is. Well, this is the beauty of English language, actually, that if you yes. if you tilt the word tilt يعني تحرك yes. if you tilt yes. um, if you tilt the word a little bit, the meaning will shift. So any shift in yes. the any shift in the in the word or any shift in the wording is implying another shift in meaning. Yes, and I, this is right. this is the beauty of English language. You have to appreciate how flexibly uh, can you you can speak. So not only do you have the flexibility of saying a lot of things in natural English manner, but everything that you say can be al uh, altered in a way uh, that depends on the interpretation of the audience to you. Uh, let yes. me move to the next question. Uh, what is community immunity? Uh, I'm still ignorant, uh, to be honest, about this uh, because a lot of people actually here in Iraq, a lot of commentators, um, a lot of government representatives started to say, well, we need to start uh, adjusting to our life with this virus because we no, we no longer are able to fight it. So we have to live with it. So, what is your comment to that? Actually, uh huh. And what is what is community me, immunity? شنو المناعة المجتمعية? This is something that we always أو مناعة القطيع. Herd herd yes, immunity. Yes, what is this? Yes, herd herd immunity. Yes. What is this? That's it's 
it depends on on the immunity of of your community. Mm -hmm. So when you, it's called the herd immunity. So uh, they. Uh, I want you to define the, it. Uh, I want you youngest. to define it. I want you to define it and then tell me if it is correct or not. What is it about and why people started using this expression here? Uh, here we are, we will depend on the youth personnel. You can depend on your younger person who, who actually are healthy. So you put the, uh, you, you can let them have the virus and after that they will have an immunity. So you will depend on your, on, on your adult healthy personnel. Mm -hmm. uh, that, if, actually after the spread of the virus, they will have an immunity and the uh, older personnel are kept aside. So this is the herd immunity. Okay. Now, is this, is this something that we have to live with it? Or is it something uh, of a necessity? And why people started claiming about um, herd immunity nowadays? Is it because they failed to fight this virus? Actually, one, uh, only uh, one country used the herd immunity, which is Sweden. But I think it's difficult to apply it here. Uh, can you give me it's more? Difficult to can, apply here. can you give me more um, comments about why they this is not the case here? For the older, for the older and the younger and the younger person to stay at home, mm -hmm. and all only the healthy and the younger uh, uh, people can go out and do everything they want without wearing a mask and without everything. After an increase of the uh, an increase of the cases among the young they will call the herd immunity. So they are depending on the young and healthy adults mm -hmm. only. Okay, so... This is, it's difficult here. If you... If you uh, each family, especially in the eastern sides, uh, are composed of about 13 and above person. How you can separate the younger from the adult, from the older. <laughs> it's a mess. Um, well, Iraqi family is like Iraqi school. It has like 50 yes. or 60 students in the classroom, and it's really hard to <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's difficult to, okay. to make so, control. And also the, the people are, uh, here are ignorant. Okay. No, maybe medically ignorant because there's not that quite of a lot of media that can uh, raise people's awareness of the risk of this virus and how people can protect themselves, how people can protect themselves against it. And this leads me to my next question, which is how can I protect myself? Yes. Two to three minutes, please. Yes. Uh, when, you, when you think about protection, think about your family. When you, when you make this in front of you, you will do anything to protect yourself and your family. Mm -hmm. So, first of all, you must start with yourself. You must wash your hand as many times as you can. Because uh, washing is important. But try not to touch your face and eyes when you, are, when you, when you were out. Uh, as I said earlier, you must take your uh, sanitizer with you and the uh, uh, alcohol to clean everything when you touch anything from the other uh, from the outside. Uh, when you uh, it's, it's, uh, try to make a distance between between you and the others, uh, and finally you must wear mask. When you wear out. Okay. This is the perfect, most important perfect. thing. Perfect. That's a very detailed answer, and I truly love it. Um, so let's Thank move you. on to the beginning, to the origin of this virus. A lot of people actually said that this virus has been manufactured, has been made uh, by certain uh, superpowers to control the world and reshape the economy. Some people say that this virus happened to be because of a mutation, animal mutation, because this virus 
was transferred from one animal to another and then to human through ingestion. What is your comment on that? What are your what is your understanding of how this virus came to be how it is right now? In my point of view, actually the, the actual virus was known before uh -huh. the SARS. Okay. So this is the okay, can we can say that that is a second generation or another generation or a mutation from the original one. Uh, in my point of view, I think there were a controversy about this topic, and uh, to be honest, uh, you cannot tell that if it's uh, a mutation or if it's originated from uh, from uh, a laboratory, uh, because uh, uh, they made a lot of research, and I I read some article about that, but the the. Uh, uh, if the, after a lot of uh, research, uh, there were um, an actual consensus about that uh, the the origin of the virus is from animal after okay. mutation. Yes. So that's your analysis and that's your understanding of how this virus came to be what it is. Uh, should children yes. should children um, wear masks? And what is the risk of children becoming sick with COVID-19? Uh, in, in my opinion, I think children must wear a mask uh, because uh, after a lot of research, especially in the uh, U.S. Uh -huh. and uh, uh, in Italy, uh, they consider the children are the uh, the the most important carrier of the virus. How, uh, how is that? that? How is that possible? There, there were a lot of children. How is that possible? Children without any symptoms make the, the transmission of, uh, of the virus to their parents. In the early, mm -hmm. uh, in the early stages of the, uh, of the pandemic, they found that the, the children, uh, they called them the, the cold cases. Ah, okay. Yes, the cold cases. Uh, you cannot. Uh, they they are not. No, there is. There were no true, non uh, criteria about how the virus spread. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, till now, you cannot. You cannot know. Know how the virus spread uh, through people, especially on the early uh, stages. I see that. So they mm -hmm. consider that that, that uh, the, the children uh, they call them as a cold case uh, cases because they they work as a, a transmission uh, uh, transmitters medium. transmitters um, of the virus. We can yes. say transmitter. Yes. Okay, transmitter of uh, the virus. Yes. Okay, so this leads me. Are 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 you enjoying this kind of conversation, or you want to shift to talk about IELTS? Should we continue? <laughs> uh, actually, it's it's a it's good conversation. I, 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 like uh, I think I think since you are a doctor, and um, one of the uh, roles that you have to have is to educate people, to educate people. يعني مو معناها تعلم وإنما ثقف to educate yes. to educate people about uh, the risks of this virus and how uh, they should uh, get protected against it and uh, what kind of precautions they should have including like using a lot of sanita sanitizers and carrying uh, masks always in their uh, glove, po uh, glo glove boxes in the car um, and yes. other things that you have just uh, kindly mentioned here. Uh, let me continue this because this is something that is related to your background. So you can uh, potentially uh, 